So the basic part of the score tracker app uh, will do the user interface and we'll get the increase and decrease buttons working. So there's no template for this project, so we'll just have to create an app. I'll call this one the score tracker. Get it started. Um, first thing we're going to need is a label so we can find that. Oh, we're going to drag it out from here. And good coding practice. We want to make sure to give it a very specific name. This will be our score label. And we'll change the text. We'll start this at zero. And we want a top margin. Actually, this would make more sense if we had a bottom margin of 20. Make sure anything that's under it will be at least 20 pixels. Okay, we're going to need a couple buttons now. So we'll bring in one button out. And sometimes they don't quite land where we want them. So we can negotiate that through the, the, app, the app tree here. So this one will be our plus button. We want to make sure that we rename it. It's good coding practice. Plus button. And the text should just be, you can put plus, you can put plus one, however you want to do it. We need one more. Oh, we we'll need to set the bottom margin here to make sure that the next thing under it is solid 20 pixels away. So we got that one and we'll add one more button. And once again, we'll have to reposition it under. We use the app tree here. Okay, we have it there. Get it relabeled. So we now have the minus button. And the text should just say minus one. Okay. Um, okay. And we're going to add some more things later. So why don't we add the bottom margin here as well? Okay, we can get into the programming now. It's pretty straightforward. First thing we need to do is create a variable, and this variable will simply be the score. So we'll initialize a variable called score, and we'll start it at zero. And when the plus button or the increase button, whatever we want to call it, is clicked, we want to change the score by one. So it's pretty simple. And then we want to make sure that the label shows the change. So from the label text, we'll, the score label will set the label text to the new value, which is the app score. And we want to do the exact same thing for the minus button. So we could actually just duplicate this block and it will let us click down to here. Minus, it will change this to minus one. Alrighty, so let's test this out. We can actually, I believe, just test it right in here. And so when we click the plus button, it goes up. We hit the minus button, it goes down. Okay, very good. There's a couple of challenges that you're gonna work on on your own. Um, you should use a conditional to make sure that the score never goes below zero. Um, also use a conditional to check uh, what the value of, of the score is at any point. If the score is above five, you should change the background color. And the last challenge for you is to add a sound uh, when the score is equal to 10. Good luck.